so what are your thoughts on creation of private trust for the purpose of succession planning yes this is also a fancy idea nowadays that uh, for succession we should create trust and this is uh, the imported idea for the reason that uh, in uh, overseas or in different countries there is a lot of uh, popularity of creating private trust the reason for them is that there is a heavy inheritance tax in those jurisdictions but in india there is no inheritance tax that when uh, succession takes place uh, then whatever your wealth is transmitted to your legal heirs no tax uh, is uh, charged by the government there is no tax in india which is called inheritance tax or succession tax there is nothing but in other countries it is there therefore they do prefer to create private trust when they transfer their assets to private trust at that point of time there may not be any tax or there can be very little tax which they can plan or by keeping the offices of the trust in tax seven countries they don't pay any tax and later on when uh, after your demise the beneficiaries are always already having the assets in their name in the shape of the trust as a private trust again the trust is also having the status uh, that uh, it is uh, having the perpetuity or or uh, not not exactly perpetuity but as per the trust deed whatever has been uh, provided uh, i mean assets uh, remains with the, uh, in the name of the beneficiaries only only so so trust is a structure where you transfer your assets to the beneficiaries within your lifetime because in the trust private trust uh, the settler contributes his assets for the benefit of the beneficiaries he specifies the beneficiaries the beneficiaries will get all the uh, benefits of uh, rent dividend interest whatever the profits are generated uh, to their account but the management can still be kept by the settler in his hands or in the hands of the board of trustees settler themselves can become the trustee or they can make along with them some other person also professional persons also as trustee so it means that you differentiate between the management and the beneficiaries like a corporate entity corporate entity also the ownership is with the shareholders but the management is with the board of directors this is similarly here in a trust the management is with the board of trustees and the benefits flow to the all uh, beneficiaries so now now when private trust is created and uh, in india when uh, there is no inheritance tax then i i, I feel that uh, there is no need uh, to create uh, this kind of structure in normal circumstances unless inheritance tax is imposed in india uh, for that matter if even if we keep the assets in a corporate structure or in a llp structure this can also be uh, also serve the same uh, kind of uh, purpose which uh, is being served by way of trust uh, to certain exceptions uh, of course wo zyada technical hai isliye i am not discussing those things but broadly speak uh, private trust uh, may be important instrument in a case where you feel that your legal heirs in future some of the legal heir may not be competent or capable enough to handle all your businesses or all your assets but still you want to pass on the benefit to him as uh, he is your legal heir out of love and affection but at the same time you want that the management should be in the hands of some professional persons or with some uh, other persons including yourself that you uh, transfer the assets for their benefit but still uh, it is managed by some professional persons or maybe is as a, by by some persons whom you feel are more competent to handle the affairs so maybe in that kind of situation uh, creating a private trust may be more beneficial or Secondly, when you want to declare your intention clearly, 
that uh, I am giving uh, this much, this much to this uh, so and so persons. Then you can do it uh, because will takes place after your demise. It is effective after your demise, but trust uh, is effective immediately. So if you transfer the your assets to a private trust for the benefit of your legal heirs, then they become the owner right from that day only, and all benefits flow to them right from that day only. So, so there can be a combination uh, of uh, these things also. So again, it will depend upon the uh, object, upon the circumstances, upon the situations. I have seen number of persons when uh, your children are analyzed, they don't intend to come to India. You are having a big business empire. Now, now you don't want that. Agar ap, if you transfer uh, all uh, your shareholding to them. Uh, then what may happen that after your demise they may not uh, they may not be able to handle it properly or they may dispose of the shares uh, to some uh, persons who may not be competent enough to carry on the empire which has been created because you have uh, attachment uh, in a business entity not only with your legal heirs but your employees also your professionals also your colleagues also or your whole staff also who have uh, worked uh, day and night with you and who have created this kind of a structure. So you want to protect their interest also. From that point of view, maybe that uh, you give benefits to your legal heirs, but still management is in the hands of the board of directors or uh, the board of trustees which are created and uh, some certain kind of restrictions or clauses can be put into the private uh, trust that even after your death, the, uh, the, the entity or the structure is run according to your wish. So this can also be planned, but but again there cannot be any thumb rule. It depends from uh, circumstances, circumstances, person to person, object uh, keeping in view the different objects.